Welcome everybody to German Tour Views. Today we are going to compare the screw holding feature of the VHA and Vera L keys. Each of them came up with a different solution to the problem, which I always find quite interesting. This review is going to mostly focus on the comparison of this particular feature and not necessarily a comparison of each set. However, I will point out certain features that one has over the other where applicable. If we take a look at the catalog entry for each of these units, they are essentially advertising the same feature with that it can hold a socket cap hex screw while being used on the ball end. This is very useful for extracting screws that are counterboard that can be a real pain to get out sometimes. As noted on both catalog entries, the three smallest sizes, 2.5, 2 and 1.5 millimeters do not have the holding feature and will be a standard ball end. One thing to note is that the VHA has a much larger variety of sets available. Currently the only available set from Vera is a metric one with the color coded sleeves and black finish. So if you are an exclusive SAE fastener user then the choice will be easy since only the VHA has an SAE set available with the holding feature. In no particular order, let's unbox each of these and examine some of the features of each set. First up is the Vera set. I don't really see any clear distinguishing markings on the box that indicate that this set has the holding feature other than the picture on the front and the holding function mark in small print. If you saw this box in the box for the regular set, you probably wouldn't be able to tell much difference between the two. The Vera set comes in one of its standard holders, but with the one difference in the color of the sliding latch. In this case, a light blue color is used to indicate that this set has the holding function. Another recent change they have made to these color-coded sets is the color of the 3mm hex key is now purple. Before it was a light yellow color that was extremely close to the 4mm and made it difficult to tell them apart. Therefore the purple is used twice but you should be able to tell the difference between the two purple ones which are 3mm and 8mm. Getting a closer look, each of these keys looks extremely similar to the Vera standard black hex L keys. The short end contains the hex plus profile with the ball end on the longer end. The difference is that they installed a spring loaded ball bearing that is used to create friction against the walls of the socket cap screw to hold it. This would have required drilling a precision hole in each ball end, inserting a spring and press fitting a ball bearing into the hole. This holding feature is similar in design to a spring loaded ball on a ratchet drive. All of the keys with the holding function are also marked with the letters HF on the sleeve. Now onto the VHA set. VHA has branded their holding feature as the magic ring, which makes it sound a lot cooler than just holding feature. After cutting through the packaging, we get to the set. The first thing you will notice right away is the different and unique design of the holder, which contains a rotating mechanism that assists in removing individual hex keys. Turning any of the L keys will cause all of them to turn. Since they are slightly offset in the holder on a tiered system, each key can be removed without interference from any other. Quite a nice feature. Taking a closer look at this set, the first major difference is the surface finish, which is a matte chrome on the VHA sets. Each of the hex keys is stamped with VHA 369R CRV made in Germany and the key size. Taking an even closer look, we can see how the holding feature was designed and manufactured. A groove was made into the ball end and a small clip was inserted. The size of the gap in the clip I believe to be a critical design parameter as it will allow the clip to compress and push against the edges of the socket cap screw. Making this gap too small will not allow it to compress fully and could cause binding issues when removing it from the screw, making the gap too large and you risk pulling the ring out of the groove. Doing some simple head-to-head -head comparisons, the VHA L keys are slightly longer than the Vera ones. Measuring this 6mm key, we can see that the VHA is 4mm longer. Taking some weight measurements of the same keys, the Vera one is heavier coming in at 62 grams versus 50 grams for the VHA. I believe the reason for the weight difference is the plastic sleeve and that the Vera one has a rounded shaft profile which will occupy more area than a hex profile and hence more material. To test the holding feature, I'm going to just hold an M8 socket cap screw in a vise and just use a hanging scale to see how much force it takes to lift it. I know this is not the most scientific method, but it will let us know if there is a significant difference between the two. We also need to take into account the 12 gram weight difference when comparing these values. The display on this scale really didn't show up well in the video, but I took several measurements of each rotating it around the socket cap screw. The Vera one was coming out to around 210 grams of force to remove. The VHA one was coming around 205 grams of force. Factoring in the weight difference in the two, the VHA unit performs slightly better, albeit statistically insignificant. I know what you are thinking, why don't I just magnetize the end and use that as the holding feature? Well that doesn't really help you if you are dealing with stainless fasteners, but for other type of fasteners this seems like a valid solution. So what I did is magnetize my Vera 6mm without the holding function and then measured the force it took to remove. I was getting readings of around only 80 grams of force in this case which would put the holding power of the magnetic end for this size at around 20 or so grams, around 130 grams less than the one with the holding feature. If I had to pick a design that performed the best, it would have to be the VHA at this time. There are many other factors such as durability which could come into play so this might get a revisit after several years of use and we will see how the holding feature is maintained through constant tear and wear. It does look like the ring on the VHA could actually be replaced if necessary, but I don't see any replacements being sold by VHA at this time. 
The ball bearing on the vary units isn't going anywhere, but it requires some sort of periodic lubrication to ensure that the spring inside doesn't seize. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that look at the holding feature of the Viha and Vera L keys. Check out the link in the description to the four of you. There are also some affiliate links in the description if you feel the urge to pick one of these sets up. Have a good week and I'll catch you guys next time.